Hello everyone, I am Dr. Francis Xiao Chun. I was previously Head of Corrective Surgery at the Singapore General Hospital uh, from 1994 to about 2003. During my time at Singapore General Hospital, I was Head of Surgical Oncology at the National Cancer Centre, also Head of the Endoscopic Unit at Singapore General Hospital. Since 2003, I have been in private practice. I am currently uh, located at Paragon Shopping Centre, HEC 06-06, where I look after patients uh, who need treatment of various sorts of colon and rectal and anal diseases. Now, in today's video, we would like to discuss the topic of colon and rectal cancer. Now, why is colon and rectal cancer so important? In fact, in Singapore, the Singapore Cancer Society has designated every April as Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Now, why is this so? Almost every country around the world as colorectal cancer is a leading cause of cancer death. In Singapore, amongst females, breast cancer is the leading cause of cancer death. Among males, it is lung cancer. But when we combine males and females together, we find that colorectal cancer is the leading cause of cancer death. Now, the reason colorectal cancer is important is not just because it is very common. It is also easily prevented. One. Two, it is easily detected in the early stages. And three, if detected early, it is totally curable. Now, with regards to colorectal cancer, there are quite a few misconceptions that many people have towards this cancer. Many people think that if I live a healthy lifestyle, I will not get colorectal cancer. That is, if I don't drink, if I don't smoke, if I don't... Uh, eat meat and fat and carbohydrate, I will not get colorectal cancer. Now, this is actually totally wrong. There are many people who live healthily, there are many people who eat healthily as they think, but they still get colorectal cancer. We have seen many patients uh, who all their life, they don't uh, indulge in any of these bad habits, and in fact, they would say, or everyone would say they eat, they, they eat very healthily, and yet, when they're diagnosed with colorectal cancer, they say, Doc, how can I get colorectal cancer? I never eat meat, I always eat vegetables, I eat my fruits. Why do I have this? Well, I would like to tell everyone that that's not the way to prevent colorectal cancer. 